Hi everyone, welcome back to Monday Meds. I hope your week is off to a great start. Happy Monday to you all. Yes, and thank you for joining me on this Monday Meds. My name is Tanisha Lawrence, your health educator. So, we are about halfway, we're a little over the halfway mark in our series on New Start and the Immune System. And just to recap, we did talk about New Start and we did say we are starting with the end in mind. And so the end, which was the first D, trust in divine power, then rest, the R, then the A, then the the T, so the, the, the A was for air, fresh air, and then the T, the T is the, the second T or the first T would have been, first T in reverse would have been temperance. And then we talked about sunlight or sunshine, and that's the start. Now we're going to be focusing on the new. And so as we wrap up, we're going, we have about three more weeks as we wrap up on New Start and Immune System. So today we are going to be talking about water. Yes, and I really wish that I was somewhere on the beach, somewhere in water right now doing this video. So as we talk about water and the immune system, I will share in the description section of this video, I have done about two videos on water and the benefits of water the amount of water you should have each day um, definitely check it out i will talk a little bit about that some of the things but not a lot just for those who didn't see it and just in case you have not seen or will not see that other video at least you would have had the opportunity to know how much water you need in your body so how much water do you need in your body um, based on the recommend the recommendations from um, not just the American, um, not just the um, the body that, <laughs> that deals with our water or doctors. We um, we are. It is recommended that we drink at least eight glass, eight cups. Sorry, eight cups of water. I must remember that. Eight cups, eight cups of water. At least eight cups of water each day. And yes, this is about a cup. I did measure it. Yes, this is about a cup of water. And um, as we talk about water, um, this bottle gives you about two cups of water. Yes, this is about, this is about um, one pint about, yes, so uh, which is about two cups. All right, so what are the benefits of water um, to your immune system? One, the body is made up of about 80% water. Do you know how much, how much water the blood is made up of? Well, if you Google it, you got it right. It's about 90%. 90% of your blood is made up of water. So yes, the plasma, which is the liquid part of the blood, is 90% water. Wow. Does that blow your mind how much water you need each day? How much water you need each day? If your blood is made up of 90% of your blood is made up of water, you need water every day. You need water, I would probably say of the day, which is about 10 hours for the day, you need water at least one hour a day, basically, if you want to break it down like that. You need about a cup of water, about a cup of water, one hour each day. Plain and simple as that. All right, so as we talk about immune system and water, so yes, the water flushes the, the blood. You know, life is in the blood, so the water flushes the system. It does help the blood. You know that the blood circulates, the nutrients. According to Healthline, yes, the blood, the water, water does help to carry the nutrients in the blood to the different cells of the organs. And so, if your blood does not have enough water, you are in great trouble. If your blood is not, does not have enough water, you will get sick and you need water to survive. We cannot live 
<laughs> we can live about what we can live a few days without water I was gonna think of I was thinking about air fresh air you can't live without fresh air more than three minutes about but you can't or without oxygen now you can't live more than a few days without water by then your body is going to be um, pulling water from different parts of your organs and different parts of your cells and different parts of your body. So that's important for you to make sure that you drink enough water each day. So it's good for your, it's good to detox, it's good to flush your system, flush your blood. It's very good for, even as you, you, you know, you talk about your, as we talk about the blood, if you don't have enough water, your blood flow is going to be limited. And yes, I did an experiment earlier today and it's true your blood flow is limited and just as you drink enough water your blood flow actually start replenishing itself so yes you need water guys you need water to fight any disease any flu like symptoms any um, coronavirus whatever virus um, is going around you need water and I cannot stress it enough, stress it enough especially if you talk a lot if you um, if you lose water I will not go into that because it, it is in the other videos that I did so yes we need water each and every day and I will say each and every hour of the day <laughs> we need water now remember you don't you shouldn't drink too much water if you do drink too much water it can thin your blood out so you do not want to have more than like the, the there is an equation half of your body body weight in ounces so if you're 160 pounds 80 ounces of water 80 ounces of water is about 10 cups of water um, so 8 to 10 cups of water is good for you each and every day all right so before we wrap up before we wrap up I definitely want to talk about um, the different types of water I did talk about um, filtered water in one of my videos before. Um, if you don't have a filter, like I don't have a filter right now, or a filter um, tap, filter jug, you can use charcoal. You can use charcoal. One of these days I'll do a video on charcoal, activated charcoal. But yes, you could use charcoal, activated charcoal in your water to purify it. Also, um, you can use lemon. Lemon water is very good, very good first thing in the morning. On an empty stomach lemon water and um, for those of you who are in the country areas that you can get the rainwater that's actually the best water ever like I said in a previous video and yes um, I did talk about or I am going to talk about um, salt water now salt water is good for cleaning if you didn't know salt is good for cleaning it's one of the cleaning agents that is that many times you don't think about and yes if you don't have alcohol and all those things to clean you can use the regular table salt you can use a regular sea salt and yes here I have here I have some water I have you remember the pink salt I have some pink pink Himalayan salt in this bottle water and yes if you feel like you are coming down with a virus or a flu or you can drink a little water a little salt water do not drink too much especially if you have high blood pressure yes do not drink too much but yes salt water is good for you and just as just just as uh, in moderation in moderation and just as Jesus said to his disciples in in Matthew 5 in Matthew 5 when he said that Matthew, Matthew 5 verse verse 13 he said ye are, ye are the salt of the earth Yes, you are the salt of the earth. And when you are salted, when you are sharing your saltiness with people around you, they will become salted and they'll be preserved. Just as those salt preserve many things in our world today. And so as we go throughout this week, as you think about water, as we think about immune system, building our immune system, remember water is life and remember that <laughs> Jesus is the life he gives us life and with him we will never thirst again have a wonderful week everyone and yes drink drink to the glory of God and God be with you